whoever's out there. Oh, hi, Val. So anyway, Val just got here right now, and she just left. Anyway, I was starting my Periscope today because I had an interesting phone call uh, with an old friend today, and he was asking me what it takes to get clients or to get somebody to sponsor you. And I was like, well, you know, that's a very good question. What it takes, it takes tenacity. Um, it takes you actually getting up out of your chair, your car, your whatever, and you need to go out there and do the footwork. You need to go knock on the doors. You need to build the relationships. Um, a lot of times people are like, well, I've already paid my dues. Well, you know what? I feel the same way. I've paid my dues over and over and over again. And a lot of times I question because I'm a woman of mucho faith. I question God all the time and I say, why do I have to pay my dues again? I'm too old to be paying my dues again. I've already knocked on the doors. I've built the relationships. But you know what? Unfortunately, sometimes you have to continue to do it because things change and our economy changes, our business changes, everything around the world is constantly changing. So I just feel like sometimes and, and when I was talking to him about it and you know sometimes your faith gets tested and you're like okay if I'm not supposed to be doing this anymore then I'm just gonna give up and I'm gonna go do something else right now because I don't know if I should be doing this anymore and I know that that's happened to me uh, more than on one occasion in what we've been doing for the past 20 years in speaking around the, con the country <laughs> in speaking around the world and connecting with people and it, it gets really hard some people I, a lot of people I talk to them and and they don't don't even reach out to us sometimes they just watch silently they watch silently on our social media because we're very public about everything that we do with our family um, if one of us is sick or in the hospital or if we're with a client and they allow it you know because some clients are private um, if our clients allow it we show it um, if something's happening personal with one of us we show it uh, we show all our trials and tribulations and um, when we can we show our successes one of the biggest things that I think that Bert and I have been very successful in is in creating our family which includes Val and Eric and LJ and of course our children's oh thank you it's very sweet of you so this is my best friend right here and my business partner and that's Valerie and um, so Valerie and I sorry about that needed that so Valerie and I a lot of times we'll just get in a car and we're like we want to go meet this person and we just go Right, Val? That's it. We just go and we're like, hi, my name is Alexa and my name is Val and we want to do business with your company and we wanted to get to know you. And you know what it is? Is that you got to be confident in your product. You got to be confident in your product and you got to um, know that you can bring value to whoever you're speaking to. And that's what I was talking to this person about. And a lot of times you just got to stop complaining and your time will come where you no longer have to pay your dues. And sometimes, unfortunately, like it's been tested to us, you gotta continue to pay your dues no matter what. It's in one way or another. There's a test that you have to pass for some reason or an experience that you have to go through. So, I don't know if anybody's watching, but I'm just talking and um, wanted to Periscope because one of my goals, whether I'm uncomfortable or not, whether I feel good or not, one of my goals has been to periscope into the universe of the unknown <laughs> and uh, connect with people however I can. Whether somebody's watching or not, it doesn't matter. So if anybody's watching out there, hi. <laughs> and um, I hope that you do connect with us. That's what we're supposed to be doing here. We're supposed to be, one of the things that we love and that we're very good at is teaching people things that they need to know. Uh, this guy called me and he wanted um, us to coach him and let him know how to figure out what his target market was and how to approach him and what kind of sponsors and what kind of money and um, just give him the information that we have. All of this information that we've collected throughout the years and years and years that we've been doing this. And so do you think that I missed anything? You're wearing bright lipstick like me today. I didn't notice that. We both got some bright lipstick on. Look at that. <laughs> 
anyway um i will stop torturing whoever's watching and i love you guys just because you're watching <laughs> oh cheese ball cheese ball you're a cheese ball i am a cheese ball people don't realize that i am a complete dork <laughs> i am mm. i'm nerdy no yes i am no i'm nerdy no you're geek okay you're geek you're what's the difference between a geek and a nerd I'm stupid. And a dork. You are not stupid. I am totally stupid. You're smart mm -hmm. and geeky. I don't know about all that. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody was there, but unfortunately I'm blind and I need to schedule a um, eye test. Because I just told Val, I don't care. I, I got to do the context of the glasses eventually. I just cannot see. People give me their business cards and I have to have people read them for me or ingredients. Your arms or aren't long enough? My arm. <laughs> yeah. The age test. Because <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're different? Is that JJ? Hi, JJ. Because um, we're different? How? I don't understand. How are we different? I am no different than anybody. <laughs> I'm just probably darkier than most. <laughs> I am. I think you are under a complete misconception of what a dork is. Well, I know the technical definition of what it is. And no, I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to stop broadcasting. Cheers. And we're going to go knock on some doors and meet some people.